In 2006, Atletico Madrid signed a pretty unknown Argentinian forward named Sergio Aguero. You might have heard of him now. Now he was a very talented forward and that's why they splashed out an alleged 20 million euros on the teenager. He spent 5 years with Aleti and smashed 74 goals in just 175 games before getting that massive move to Man City and well the rest is history. So why are we talking about this? Well in today's episode of the Wonder Kid Files we're going to be looking at the potential new Aguero Laturo Martinez. So Martinez has actually been heavily linked with a move to Atletico Madrid, with him already being linked with rivals Real and even Premier League's Arsenal, however it looks like the forward is destined for the red and white half of the Spanish capital. So who is he? Well if you've played FM in the past couple of years you probably know all about him because he is fantastic on FM. Anyway, Martinez began his career with regional side Liniers in Buenos Aires and was quickly snapped up by Racing in 2014. Now, despite wanting to follow his father's footsteps into becoming a professional footballer, he actually considered leaving the club due to homesickness. However, a teammate convinced him to stay and he went on to smash 53 goals in just 64 games for the reserve team. And this form saw him get a chance in the senior team where he played alongside ex-Inter Milan hero Diego Melito. Saying that though, he did only manage one appearance in his first season and then followed that with three in the next. And it wasn't until the last campaign when he burst through after replacing Lissandro Lopez who was out through injury. Martinez went on to play 23 games, netted 9 times and made it into the top 10 scoring charts in the Primera División. His playing style. The best way to describe him really is Aguero Light. He's got all the pace, dribbling and vision that you would expect as well as some nice skills to boot. He also seems to be able to get on to the end of balls whipped in, showing his ability to find space in the box. However, he can be a bit guilty of dropping a little too deep, which is something that you'd imagine someone like Diego Simeone would be able to whip out of him, and get him to concentrate more on getting in behind defenders. Now his finishing could also be worked on, but the fact that he's working alongside Lissandro Lopez means he has a pretty great tutor when it comes to slotting them home. As for FIFA, he is again a very quick and powerful forward who could do with some shooting training to get him where he really needs to be. Now he does have 79 acceleration and more importantly 85 strength, so in many ways he could actually work as that link up forward in a two man strike partnership. However saying that Aguero is still pretty strong and he still manages to play as a lone poacher. His potential. We'll start with FIFA, and with the right training he can get up to an 88, which is very nice and offers something a little bit more different to the typical young forwards actually on the game. His strength and pace are an obvious bonus, and if you can work on that finishing and dribbling, then you could make him into a right handful. And the best thing is you can pick him up for just 13 million because of a release clause, so you should have no problem in getting him, but act fast because if you don't, somebody else will. As for real life, he has plenty of potential, but can be a little hot headed, like when he lashed out at Fikeo Tomori at the Under 20 World Cup this summer. But again, working with Simeone and Burgos will sort him right out, or at least get him to use the anger to make him dominant like Diego Costa was at Atleti. And like we said before, a move to Atleti looks seriously on the cards, with his agent claiming that it's pretty much 99% done. Can he become the new Aguero? Well, who knows, we'll have to wait till January at least to see if he does make that move to Simeone's side. Saying that though, he does have the likes of Griezmann, Costa, Vieto and Torres ahead of him in the striking department, so he can at least use them for great mentors. And that's our video, let us know which wonder kid you want us to look at in the next episode. Be sure to like and share this video and why not hit that subscribe button to join Team Top Corner right now.